fire. If it ain't seven, it ain't kosher. Heaven and hell is what they told you. Real men put the strap down and we can toss them. Young heads picking back up and young dopers. This is our culture. Now we're talking kosher. Clinician, masculinity issues, asking fathers who miss you, mama drama don't kiss you, all a part of the ritual, this is how they get you, separate the men, women clipping babies pretend to, damn, love us, hate us, acting like vultures, if it ain't seven, it ain't kosher, if it ain't kosher, ain't right, gotta divorce us, if it ain't seven, it ain't kosher, if it ain't kosher, ain't right, gotta divorce us, if it ain't seven, it ain't kosher, if it ain't kosher, ain't right, gotta divorce us. This is kosher condition. Seven one is a whole world gotta listen. This is kosher condition. Seven one is a whole world gotta listen. This is kosher condition. Seven one is a whole world gotta listen. This is kosher condition. Seven one is a whole world gotta listen. 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 But at the end of the day, guys, we got a great topic and we got a great guest tonight. Man, listen. I love having this guest on. He's always full of knowledge. He's always out there willing to help us when it comes to mental issues that men go through. We got the one and only Kosher Commission on this evening. I'm about to give a couple of shout outs to all you guys here. I won't be able to have a chance to read all your live streams because we're going to bring the guest on immediately. But I am going to give a shout out to all you guys, such as my man Iman in the building first. Shout out to you and my man, Victory Family. Stefano always lets us know. Make sure that we click the like button. Be respectful in the chat. Hola, mi gente. My man, Mike Lowry, is in the building. As well as my man, EMB. Shout out to you for being here. We got 21 in the live stream right now so far. Click that like button. You guys already know we like you. Make sure you like us too. Shout out to my man, Mike, once again. And Tevin King. Now we got a real live stream. We got Tevin King and Afro National. What are we doing right? What are we doing right? Dion is in the building. Mr. G himself, cool with the lenses. They ain't ready with the cool lenses for my man Dion in the building. West Side Ninja, straight from the Shaolin Temple. Y'all ain't ready for the, but he, he was the, the sixth deadly venom. Y'all ain't realize who it was. The West Side Ninja. We're going to my man, Black Chairman. I like that name. I like that name. Hey, fellas, many blessings to everyone. Shout out to you. We're about to get started right now. If I missed your name, blame it on my head, not my heart. At the end of the day, guys, we have a great guest. We're going to bring him on right now. My man, Coach Kanish, we got a great topic tonight. No doubt, Drake. No doubt, brother. Uh, how you doing, sir? What's going on? I'm doing great, Coach. How you doing, man? I, hey, man, I, I'm trying to be smooth like you, man. <laughs> last time I saw you, it was you, Richie Mack. Uh, who else was it? Uh, Guap, uh, El Guapo. Right, right, All right. y'all were having dinner or just hanging out. Hanging out, no doubt. At the conclave, at the black. How how was it for you, man? How was it getting on stage and talking to the brothers? Well, the conclave was powerful, man. It was one that I think it was it was it was a, it was a, it was an event, Dre, that was not as heralded as it should have been, but it was powerful. It was very prolific. It was very uh, profound because we got the opportunity to see men talk about their struggles, their needs, their pains, but also, Dre, it afforded us as men. Uh, to show the world that when black men coming together, lay aside our petty differences, not letting our egos override the moment that great things can come out of those situations. So it was a very powerful occurrence, man. I had a great time, um, you know, speaking to the brothers, man. You know, at one point, you know, I was trying to be all, all, all cool, but, you know, that, that kosher fire came out, man. I just had to kill the game. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, man. I'll be there next year. Right, right. When we talked to Obsidian, he already kind of like mentioned it for me to be one of the speakers for next mm -hmm. year. Yeah. Andre had already, Andre and I have already planned on being there in Dallas next year, mm -hmm. uh, next September. They're holding in September again because mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, I was really excited and and so things are looking good for us to be able to make it there next year. So I'm looking forward to being a part of it uh, with with you gentlemen and meeting all you guys face to face, all of us tall brothers hanging out in the Hickok Richie Mac. <laughs> <laughs> 
Shout out to Richie. Richie, Shout Richie the tallest man in the room without being tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rich, Rich is funny, man. Shout out to Richie, man. I was joking with Rich. I called call Richie Mario. Super Mario, <laughs> man. man. Oh, you did tell me about that. <laughs> Rich, Rich is my boy, dog. I got number love for Rich. Good guy, man. I had a great time meeting him. Very kind guy. I'm very, very down to earth, man. You know, uh, never too big for the moment, man. And uh, and that's what it's all about, man. But you, but you're the star, man. You're the celebrity, man. You looking good, you know. You got a beautiful young wife. Your birthday just came up. We balancing the scales. Um, you yeah. the god, you you the godfather, man. You the new godfather. Oh man, cause... listen, man. I'm just I'm just a brother. <laughs> I'm just a brother that's following the, the, the teachings of the rest of you brothers. In all sincerity, no doubt, I really man. do. I right. really do. Right. But we, our topic for tonight, we're excited about this one because right. we're talking about the health and mental benefits of dating younger women. Right. Now, for those of you guys out there that, you know, I like a woman that's kind of my age, maybe a few years younger, nothing wrong with that. We understand that completely. Right. But I do realize that a lot of guys, after they divorce, and many of us have been through divorces, it's, it's not uncommon for us to decide to date someone that doesn't remind us of anybody that's of our age. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's not uncommon for us to not date somebody that is of our age because that person of our age kind of in some ways remind us of the women that we've had to deal with, including right. our ex-wives or ex-girlfriends that are of our age. Yes, sir. Right. So, so what we're going to be doing, go, go ahead, Culture. No, no, no. I, I totally agree with you. You know, uh, I think one of the qualifying factors, Dre, is that um, – we understand that if you get a younger wife, you got to be in good shape. You should strive to be in good shape. It's something you talk about on your show all the time, Dre. You talk about the importance of good mental and physical health, but also being physically prepared to be with a younger woman. Uh, and so, you know, we're not talking about guys that, you know, that are extremely fat. They don't work out. They don't take care of themselves. Uh, we're talking about men that are serious about um, being serious about being serious about uh, getting a woman that's young and fit and a woman that can give them the power um, and the exuberance that they need to be successful. Um, you know, Teddy Pendergrass said, Dre, uh, you inspire me. He was talking about the Mona Lisa. And many times a younger woman can be a type of Mona Lisa because she's young, she's effervescent, she's vibrant. Uh, her energy is, is up. And we're not talking about um, um, younger women that are cantankerous. You know, we're talking about younger women that are, are, are teachable, coachable, respectful, and, uh, and they don't have a lot of trauma because being young alone is not the antecedent to having a good woman. It's part of it, but being young alone is more than just that. She got to be a well-rounded woman um, in Absolutely. order to, to come to man's life. Absolutely. Like I always say, hey, guys, if you ever wonder what my secret is, you guys always hear me say, deal with the hot nerd chick. Yeah, deal right. with the chick that's attractive. She's beautiful. She's got a great personality. But, hey, she's a bookworm or she's a, a career woman or she's mm -hmm. a woman that has something to bring to the table other than her beauty. I like beautiful, nerdy chicks. Right. Number two, secret that most guys don't remember that I mentioned, culture, get a woman that's young, but right. she has an old soul. Yeah, right. yeah, right. Yes, sir. She I totally agree. Old, I, mm -hmm. I, my wife mm -hmm. has a very old, mature soul. There are a lot of gorgeous women around the world that are young by right. age, by nature, right. uh, uh, or, or, or genetics, but they are very mature, like they've been here before. Mm -hmm. And so I'm attracted to younger women, yes, but as culture said, it takes more than just their youth and their young beauty mm -hmm. to want you to keep them. Mm -hmm. There are some women that's just, they're cool to sleep with. Oh, it's cool to sleep with a younger woman. But to have one where you want to keep for the long run, guys, culture is absolutely correct. Is she uh, cooperative? Is she supportive? Right. I, I have a saying called, and I was telling this to somebody the other day, we were out and about, and I was telling him, uh, I say, when you're dating here in Columbia, date women that own doors. Mm -hmm. He said, what do you mean by that? Mm -hmm. I said, date women that have the ability to open up doors. Culture, so many dudes come down here to South America when mm -hmm. And when they're ready to get serious, they date the same type of young women they dated right. when they were on the party or vacation right. mode. Right, right, right. But you can't date the party girl and try to make the party girl into something serious. Mm -hmm. So I often say date a woman that can open up doors. My wife has opened up so many doors and her friends for the guys that have dated them. 
they open up doors like, okay, you need to know what the best this is. I got you. You need to know what, how to invest in that. I got you. You mm-hmm. need ability. Oh, I'm about to introduce you to. So they open up doors for you, mm-hmm. even though they're younger. Mm-hmm. So no matter what woman you get in South America, like I always say, t- my two things is culture. Then I want to hear what you have to say. Mm-hmm. If you're going to date a younger woman, date a younger woman that is, uh, like I say, the, the attractive nerd chick and a younger woman with an old soul. What do you have to say about what you recommend for men uh, with younger women? And we're going well, to get to our, some of our topics. Right, right. And so, right. And so what you're talking about is the Quentin, the Quentin, the, the, the Quentin essential woman that many men are looking for. I think what you said is very correct, Dre. I'm finding a younger woman um, that to have my older soul is very important because what, because what it does, that woman understands the assignment. Part of it, Dre, is because how she was raised but also mm-hmm. her soul understands how to more or less uh, affirm to the heart of a man. You want a woman that can speak to your heart, a woman that can add value, a woman that can add life. But like you were saying about open doors, a woman that's a mover and a shaker. Because, you know, as you get older, you know, I mean, you know, we know men testosterone start going down this a little bit. Mm-hmm. But if you got a woman that's in good shape, she, she inspires you, she encourages you, she nourishes you with good food. It keeps you younger, it keeps you vibrant, it keeps you motivated. Uh, I think one of the greatest um, problems, Dre, with modern women is that many forgot what their assignment was. Her assignment really was to be your cheerleader. Her assignment was to help support you on the front end, and then you turn around, Dre, and support her on the back end. And so find a woman that can come into a relationship to help you open doors is not only essential for her, but also is essential for you. But she got to be a special type of younger woman, not just a typical young woman, but a special type of younger True. woman. But then on top of that, you got to be a man that's, with, that's, that's in a place to receive a younger woman because uh, not only can it add psychological wellness to your life, and we'll talk about that at some point, but also, Dre, it can help you reach some of your goals that maybe you would never have reached. But, but because you have this woman that understands her assignment, and she understands if I take care of my man on the front end, he gonna take care of me on the back end, and we can build an empire and a legacy. That's when that's how things become to, begin to manifest itself and become better long term. But but that's the power of having a psycho the, the, the power psychologically, of having a good woman in your corner and a good woman push you pushing you um toward great things. Absolutely, absolutely. I like what Charles just said as well. Culture. Charles said, "Party girls." have to grow out of that party mode mode and right. normally that ish takes some time mm-hmm. some will still party well into their 30s sometimes early 40s mm-hmm. and that's what we were great great comment charles that's what we meant when we were saying that when you come to these countries no matter where you go in your vacation mode or your own travel mode there's nothing wrong with the pay for play party girls going out there but we're talking about when you are ready to get serious, guys, you cannot, and I'm going to say this, it's very rare that I've seen a guy convert the party girl, the the scammer, the pay-for-play, into a good woman. Mm-hmm. I've known personally many a man that have tried. I'll say this again. Personally, camera's off. Mm-hmm. I know many men, culture, that have tried to take a party girl or a scammer or a girl that was a pay for play that they paid for for like three or four years. Right. It was like, listen, uh, I want you to be my woman. Mm-hmm. I will pay you not to be a, be a pay for play anymore. Mm-hmm. And these dudes culture literally go broke trying to pay these women to not be pay for play anymore. And these women are still in the streets, still selling their bodies and still taking your money and the money of many other men. Right. That have the audacity to believe that a pay for play or a mm-hmm. woman of the red light district will become a good woman right. overnight. Right, right, yeah. You, you, you're not going. You know, in, in the clinical world, Dre, we talk about something called behavior modification. And uh, Master Yoda said, "You got to unlearn what you've learned." It's hard to unlearn getting quick money, getting that dopamine hit from having um, with sleeping with different men. It, it, it almost Dre takes a supernatural work of grace. And uh, we know a lot of these women are not going, you know, I mean, can God do it? Yeah, he can do it, but it still takes a lot of work. But in general, it's, it, you will waste your time, your energy, your money, your resources trying to take a woman that's been, you know, severely ran through, 
uh, and, uh, and, and, and enjoy, you know, being with multiple men in the past and trying to take a risk because the odds are lower than higher under that woman being a wholesome woman and being willing to serve you, respect you, and honor you. Because watch this, Drake. The measure of a good woman is how she's going to be performed when times are tough. That's the measure of a good woman. Can she hold you down when times are tough? Can she love you when times are tough? And like your boy Vaughn said, love me when it hurts. And uh, we, we know they ain't trying to love each other. It hurts, Drake. Because as soon as things don't go right, they'll be singing that song by Gladys Knight and the Pips. Uh, I'm leaving on that midnight train to Georgia. <laughs> 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 definitely, definitely. Right, right. Uh, we got a question from uh, EMB. He said, "Why do men bother trying instead of look uh, trying, meaning to change these women, instead of looking for regular women that have more going on for herself?" Never under he said, "I never understood the mindset that men have mm -hmm. uh, a culture." And, and I'm, I'm trying to reach just like EMB. Mm -hmm. Is it is the fact that men are conquerors by nature, right. and we actually think that I can change this gorgeous? Because think about it, Coach. Let's be real. Right. If right. you've been going to Brazil for a year and a half, mm -hmm. and you've been ba you got your pay for play roster. Mm -hmm. You got like three or four women that every time you go down there, those are the ones. They're gorgeous. They show you around. They mm -hmm. sometimes they even stay over and cook. They tr but you know this is a transactional thing, right? You know, and when you get back on the plane, you you're not bothering them; they're not bothering you. And then when you come back, it's about. And then you decide to live in Brazil, mm -hmm. and you really think that you could conquer one of these three to four women that because you've been sleeping with her for so long, and she cooked for you when you come down, and she showed you around São Paulo. So you thinking like. Hey, I got a connection with her, not just as a regular customer. Mm -hmm. And so you think that you could, I, I only could think of culture that a person would think like that is that they have a conquering mentality that they can act. They think I can do what none of those other hundred customers can do. <laughs> he said other hundred. <laughs> You got to be around roster. Come on, coach. <laughs> Drake said the mother hundred customers. Well, listen, you, you said something, Drake, that, that, that stood out, and I and I and I add clarity to that. The nature of a man, Drake, is to do. The nature is to of a man is to do. The masculine, the masculine is doing. The feminine is being. So men by nature want to fix things, but a foolish man try to fix things outside of his scope of practice. But a wise man understand the limitations of what he have. And he move accordingly. So I think a lot of it, Dre, is that men think that they can take a, a, a woman that, that was a lady of the night and turn her into a wholesome woman. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. But is it plausible? It's not plausible. Because the likelihood of those women converting to wholesome women is slim to none. It's slim to none, Dre, because it takes a lot of behavior modification to change those behaviors. Listen, uh, even good people, unless there's a greater work of grace, they don't change their behaviors overnight. So it takes years to change and modify those negative behaviors. So in theory, it's possible, but in reality, it's, it's a waste of a man's time, in my opinion. Can't hear you, Dre. Shout out to my man, Neil Moses, in the building. Mm -hmm. He said, Kobe and Shaq, lighting up my Wednesday before my birthday. Happy birthday, my brethren. Happy and birthday, I brother. Shout out to Neil Moses. In the building. Yeah, good brother, man. You good young brother. The Leo in the building. Oh, no doubt. Aaron Fire. I know, I know, right? Right, right. <laughs> he, he say, uh, uh, he say, forever thankful to you, brother. I mean, to you both. Mm -hmm. If a woman brings value, uh, she multiplies, uh, not subtracts mm -hmm. the value. Absolutely correct. Right. Absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. Remember, guys, life is an equation. You're either adding something at any given moment, subtracting something at any given moment, multiplying something at any given moment. Mm -hmm. or dividing even your time your money or your energy mm -hmm. at any given moment right so if you if that person comes to, like he said if this woman brings value that's multiplied mm -hmm. in the equation of your life not subtraction mm -hmm. so shout out to my man neo in the building mm -hmm. also you guys who have not yet subscribed to culture conditions channel make sure you click that subscribe button i don't know what you're doing because culture been doing it better than i have so definitely, guys, make sure you subscribe because right. Tofano is going to be dropping it during the evening. This is not going to be a long, long live stream with Culture because right. he has things to do in the morning. Right. Uh, but let's hear what Charles had to say real quick before we go to our PowerPoint.
Mm -hmm. Charles says, also, most of these time shares, meaning that you share time with them and you pay for it, have full families. That's another thing that guys don't want to take consideration. Right. right. <laughs> Excuse me. These women often have a whole husband or boyfriend at home that sends them out in the streets. Mm -hmm. They know that their girlfriend is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. She's got the right curves to work your nerves. She's ready to do something strange for a piece of change. Piece of change, right. And so he like, baby, those Americans are getting off that plane. You looking good. Go get that money for me and the kids. Some people, some men don't have a problem with that. He said, hell, some are married with kids, like he right. just said. Right. You're literally paying for her husband's bills. Correct. But for you, to, and he said, but hey, when in Rome, <laughs> isn't it, I understand where, you, where he's coming from. But at the end of the day, when these guys try to, one, one of the ways these women aren't willing to convert to become your number one is because she already got a number one back at the house. Right, right. She got a husband and a couple of kids, mom at the house. She paying for grandma medication with her body. She putting her daughter through through school. Somebody got to pay for the school books and those, those uniforms down here in Columbia. Mm -hmm. And he ain't got a job. So he put her out there on the block. And so for you guys to sit back and think that you're going to change a pay for play or a party girl, let's not even go with the pay for play only before we go to our notes. Or a woman that's used to partying. She's used to um, Americans or foreigners getting off the plane, popping bottles in Medellin, popping bottles in Cartagena. Mm -hmm. She's used to having one night stand after one night stand after one night stand. She's used to you throwing her a few dollars while she makes you a few eggs. She's used to giving you a girlfriend experience while you're there for the weekend. You ain't right. really got to pay her. She a party girl. But wherever you go eat, she going to eat because you're going to take her there. Party girls are just for that. Because once you get back on the plane, she's doing the same routine with the next dude. Right. Could be the a next white dude, dude right. from, mm -hmm. from UK. Could be a, a dude from Romania. Istanbul. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They get the boyfriend experience with the party girl just mm -hmm. like you do. Mm -hmm. So when you guys sit back and try to make party girls and try to get her to sit her butt down somewhere, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen, right. That's not going to happen. I agree. So when you guys sit back and make that mistake with the party girls, the mm -hmm. pay for play. Number mm -hmm. three, the scammers. Mm -hmm. You know she's scamming you, right? You know, you ain't the only one sending her Western Union money, right? You you ain't the only Western Union poppy in her roster, right? Mm -hmm. You you know she ain't the only you 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 know she you ain't the only one who who she sits back and get that give that extra love to, so you can give her some money before you get back on that plane. You know right. she's scamming you, right? Right, right. There are women out there in these countries, just like in the states, that will scam you. In the mm -hmm. states, they scam you for meals. They scamming for weaves. They scamming for cake up makeup. The thickest makeup they could that you could the Mac counter makeup. They scamming you for that. They scamming you. Listen, I used to watch my sister's friends in the state scam dudes. You dudes be thinking y'all pay for a hairstyle. They coach. I used to see this all the time. My sister and her friends would do this all the time. Mm -hmm. They would tell five dudes, I need to get my hair done. All five dudes come out of 75 to 150 dollars. Each one of them see the new hairstyle. Only one of them paid for it. <laughs> right, the other right. four pocket right. money. Pocket money. And right. I've seen these women do it over and over right. again with a right. meal, with an outfit. Right. Baby, I need money for some for an outfit and some boots. Right. Oh right. yeah. Five dudes pay for it. That's true. I see your point. Give right. Five dudes give them money for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One dude pay for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I said, I see the routine of the scammer women. Mm -hmm. You cannot change a scammer right. into a housewife, fellas. Right, 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 right. right. You can forget that. Mm -hmm. She and, and I'm I'm going to mention this, in which I'm going to give it over to culture in regards to this part, mm -hmm. because we are all children of habit, mm -hmm. and these women are in the habit of <laughs> pay for play. Excuse me. Mm -hmm party scamming you mm -hmm. so those groups of women whether you be in the states or out you couldn't change a scammer a party girl or a 
pay for play in the States, what makes you think that you can change him in another country just because she's feminine? Let me hear what you have to say, Coaster. No, no, you're you're right, man. Um, um, it goes back to what I said earlier about men assuming that they can change a person because the nature of a man is a doer. And sometimes, Dre, they let their ego get in the way because um, so many men, Dre, here in America suffer from a condition, from a term that I can rate, I created. It's called affection deprivation. So many men, Dre, have been so... So many men in America have not been given the proper affection that they are depraved. And so, Dre, when they see any vestige of affection in a relationship or any act of kindness or compensation from a woman, it makes them feel good and alive and invigorated. And so what it does, Dre, it, it, it calibrates that natural inclination of a man that when he has a cheerleader that's a woman pushing him to greatness to do more and want to do more because he's under the assumption, Dre, that that pushing is coming from a general, a, uh, uh, not a general, but a, a genuine place. But it's not coming from a genuine place. It's coming from a woman that's using game and manipulation because she's playing on your ego. And because she's playing on your ego, then you become a slave to the, to the hype. And that's why before men travel, it's important, Dre, that they do the, the problems of rec the records of shallow work uh, to ensure that they're not a slave uh, to another woman's deception and that they're walking in power instead of walking in a woman's uh, deception and lies. One hundred percent correct. I couldn't have said it better than that. Mm -hmm. Let's get ready to go to our our PowerPoint for this evening. Tonight's yes, topic. Remember, guys, tonight's topic is the mental health and benefits of dating, marrying, uh, relating to younger women. Mm -hmm. There is a health and a mental benefit. Like I mentioned before, for those of you that, you know, I want a woman around my age, maybe six or seven years younger at the most. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, you don't have to go to the extreme like I did 27 years. <laughs> you got to go to that extreme. Right, right, On right. average, when dudes talk about younger women, it's about 15 years about 15, younger, right. mm -hmm. maybe, maybe maybe 12. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, guys, there are some benefits that we're going to break down for those of you that might be interested and like I said, younger women with old souls, A, and younger women that actually can open up doors for you, B, mm -hmm. and like I said, the the very attractive nerd chicks. Right. They got mm -hmm. careers, they got jobs, they mm -hmm. got responsibilities. These are the chicks. These are the chicks that you ain't going to see at the club every weekend, brothers. You go see her when, when it's girls' night out, or when it's somebody's birthday, or when they're celebrating a promotion. You ain't gonna see them out and about like that every weekend. It's, it's not gonna happen. Right, 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 right. So when you do see her, and she's a good one, and she out, she out of the spot, you may want to get with her instead right. of just always clamoring to the party girl, pay for play, or the scammer. Mm -hmm. But let's get ready to our PowerPoint number one. Yes, sir. Benefit in regards to health and mental benefit of, of dating younger women number one you may be more likely to find love dating a younger person who opens a larger demographic that you may be that you've been missing out on in other words when you're only dating women right around your age your pool is limited mm -hmm. But as as you decide to say, well, I'm going to date women not only my age, but maybe let me look at some of the women that are five years instead of just two years younger. Right. Let me look at some of the women that's 10 years younger. Mm -hmm. Now your demographic is larger, guys. Your pool of women are larger just based off the fact now you have opportunities. Now, let's talk about the mental health part of that. Yes, sir. A lot of you guys are stressed out because you're only dating women within the five to seven year radius of mm -hmm. your own age. Mm -hmm. She's got long longevity stresses. You've got longevity stresses. Right. Why? You've been on this planet long enough to where you've had some ups and downs and ins and outs. She's right. been on the planet long enough. She's got is. In other words, you're going to nine times out of the 10. If you keep your pool small, you're going to stress yourself out due to the fact that you're only looking around your age limit mm -hmm. stretch it out a little bit more make it a 10 year radius mm -hmm. instead of a five year radius say i'm looking for women that's right around 10 years and then all of a sudden 
mentally you like i feel a lot better because i don't have to deal with women just my age right. that they're going through mental issues right and they're causing me to have mental issues mm -hmm. so at the end of the day that's basically the first thing that you first mental benefit that i found when it comes to dating younger women your demographic or, or the pool of options is a lot larger and because you have a lot larger pool of options you are not as stressed out when it comes to trying to find somebody right on your team what do you have to say about that culture i i think everything you said um once again resonates loudly um there's a brother by the name of Sun sunshine shows i actually did a show about um about two months ago, Dre and I had you in the um, had you and him both in the mm -hmm. title, and uh, it said why American men are not ready for foreign women. But apparently, what you were saying about um, younger, older men putting themselves in the position to get younger women, I, I love how you've been very systematic and careful with your words because you did acknowledge that your situation is an outlier and it's not the norm. But if a man want to take that route that you took, that's his business. Now, um, Sunshine was telling me, Dre. Um, that he has a wife, and his wife is 20 years younger than him. He mm -hmm. thought, Dre, at one point, that he had erectile dysfunction, but he didn't. You know, when he got with his wife, you know, he was saying, uh, consistent with the scripture in Ezekiel, can these dry bones live? And uh, he went from thinking he had erectile dysfunction to getting a young, vibrant woman that's 20 years his senior, and he even got a younger baby. Now, to the point about getting a younger woman in mental wellness, and what I talk about it. In the clinical world, Dre, there's a word called psychosomatic response. Psycho means mind, soma means body. If your mind is off kilter, it can affect your body. Um, there's concepts um, in the clinical world called somatoform disorders, meaning body disorders due to trauma from the mind. And so um, having a man in his right place and having a man in his right synchronicity is very necessary, Dre. It's very necessary because what it does uh, it, it helps that man feel that he can accomplish more. Having a younger woman on your team that, that understands the assignment, that understands the mission, that understands that she's she's your biggest cheerleader, it, it keeps you relaxed. But not only does it keep you relaxed, Drake, it's consistent with the scripture. A quarrelsome and a contentious woman will run a man to the rooftop. If a man is running to the rooftop, he's not in his purpose. He's under stress. So if he's under stress, Drake, he's not fulfilling and using that creative energy to make money and resources, that's going to be a benefit not only to himself, but to that woman. So having a younger woman within the ranges that you talked about, 5 to 15 or maybe even 20 years, was like similar to what Sunshine got, um, I think it's very important because what it does, it places you in a strategic position to, to find a woman that can continue to ignite you. Now, there are some Drake that says that older men are boring, they're grumpy, and they don't like to do anything. But that's why you and I both say that if you're an older man, you need to make sure you're eating right, you're eating clean, you're drinking alkaline water, um, you're getting your rest, you're taking vitamins, you're lifting weights, you're working out, and um, you're doing everything in your power to keep yourself in good shape um, for your wife. Absolutely correct. I'm glad that you, that you mentioned that right. in regards to the, the health factors of being with a younger woman. Mm -hmm. When you're with a younger woman and you're honest with yourself, and this is what culture is saying, when you're honest with yourself, not just about her. I got a younger woman, she fine, dog. Right, she's right. smart and she this right. and she's that and right. so forth. And I, man, I got one. Mm -hmm. But culture is, culture is also saying this. There are some things that you need to do to benefit her as well. Mm -hmm. So just like me, I don't be feeling like sometimes going to the gym, but I'm, I know I'm 56. I got a 29-year-old wife. Bro, if you don't get your up oh, in that gym, Dre, and keep it keep it looking good, you gotta have it looking, Dre, to where if she's walking down the street with you on her arm, it looks compatible. Because mm -hmm. some of us, we have a younger woman, and it looks like a sugar daddy. Mm -hmm. When Andre and I walk together, we don't look like a sugar daddy. You right. see how that works? Right, right, right. It looks like she works out. Mm -hmm. I work out in the gym. Mm -hmm. She looks like she eats healthy. Mm -hmm. I look like I eat healthy. Mm -hmm. She looks like she gets proper sleep. Looks like I get proper sleep. Right. It right. helps our intimacy and it helps us look compatible to people. Mm -hmm. 
people don't look at me in Andre's photos whenever you guys see him and say, "Yeah, he 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 looked fifty six. I could, I could. Yeah, she looked twenty nine. I could see the. No, no, no. Hey, yeah. remember, she's an old soul, so she's right. already old giving soul. off. Right. Uh, uh, she's already giving off extra maturity into the universe. Mm -hmm. B. I'm a person that's got that young person's energy anyway. Right, 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 right. We're gonna mm -hmm. meet each other in the middle. Right. But culture is correct. The benefits of having a younger woman, woman, at least for guys like me, it sparks something. Right. Okay, I know I gotta take care of my health. I can't drink like I used to. Why? I got a younger woman. Well, wait, you tell you can't keep her with drinking? No, I'm trying to take care of this body because she wants me around a lot longer. Right. She wants me around. One thing Andre said, take care of your body, Andre. Why? I need you around. Mm -hmm. So now you're focusing is the benefits that you have when it comes to having a younger woman that you didn't even think about. You didn't even think about those type of benefits of the fact that somebody will motivate you to hit the gym, right. to start drinking the healthy water, to get proper sleep. Not because you're old, but because they need you to only not only look compatible with them but be around for them right i'm gonna say this again your younger woman wants you healthy because not only for good sex not only to look good with her but because she loves you so much she wants you to be around for the long haul mm -hmm. for the long haul right the long haul mm -hmm. let's get to our point number two mm -hmm. once again we're talking about the health and mental benefits of having a younger woman in your life mm -hmm. number two is you may get a boost of energy, some what like we were talking about talking about. Unlike dating older women, having younger women or younger partners may be less inclined to be jaded. Right. And more likely to be open minded and energetic. Younger women, before I let you go, go on this one, culture, mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. Younger women have a tendency of not have already been jaded by life right they haven't been jaded from 40 years of driving through rush hour traffic right compared to maybe just 20 years of dealing with that mm -hmm. they haven't been jaded with with if she's in her 50s grandkids and her kids that stressed her a younger woman has been jaded by raising a child and the child is 17, 18, 19. And we all know if you've ever raised a teenager, that's enough to get you jaded. Mm -hmm. Younger women have not been jaded by the fact that they got, if you got a younger woman, that they that they believe that they know everything. You can't tell them anything. And a lot of times younger women have no problem with accountability to where young older women are already set in their ways. Right. That right. They know relationships. Are you a perfect example, Coach, before I mm -hmm. let you speak? No, go ahead. I've, go ahead, go ahead. I've used go ahead. this one before. Mm -hmm. in, in sales, any of you guys that's in sales, in the sales field, field I don't care if you're doing Kirby vacuum cleaners. I don't care if you're like me, uh, uh, who I was, a uh, uh, academic college recruiter. I don't mm -hmm. care if you sell cars or whatever it is, right? Mm hmm. In sales culture, if you have too much experience, it's harder to get hired. Right. And the reason it's harder to get hired in sales, you would think I got all this experience. You know too much. Say it again, culture. You know too much. You know too much. Right. In sales, they'll look at your resume. There are times I've had to cut my resume in half. Right. Because if I had too much experience, I wouldn't get the job right because right. i'm but and here, here's, the, here's the part i know too much and now i may i might be at the point where i'm unteachable mm, right excellent point I, right they want me right. to learn their sales mm -hmm. steps of how to sell their product mm -hmm. and if i come in there with all my experience from when i used to sell cars or vacuum cleaners or or sell uh, uh different you know other different products software and they're trying to tell me you're going to be selling college degrees as an academic recruiter mm -hmm. and i come in there with the cockiness of my experience mm -hmm. it's going to be bad blood 
within a few weeks with inside the company mm -hmm. it's the same concept when it comes to quite often not all guys i'm not going to say this with all older women but it is quite often that concept you can't teach a do old dog new tricks right 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 right. it's, it's like that and yes, if you got an older right. woman that does not mm -hmm. she, she hasn't been accountable for nothing in 20 years jada mm -hmm. jada mm -hmm. kim kardashian mm -hmm. if these women and all these other wives out there if they have had to show no accountability for their behavior in 20 years what makes you think that you're gonna come along she's you're 51 she's 57 and she's gonna change and she hasn't had taken accountability since she was 27. it's not going to happen well, you, go, go ahead coach no you're, you're right dre uh, and i'm gonna tell you why you're 100 correct look at it dre from an analogy of the word groom when you think about theology, the groom's purpose was to, the father's job was to prepare his wife, pre prepare his daughter for her husband. So consistent with theology, the bride prepared herself for the bridegroom. The bride was a younger woman because the gospel would say if you can't maintain your virgin in the flower of her youth, it's better to marry than the bride. So basically you got a younger woman. You got a, a younger woman that was being prepped by her father to be uh, in order to carry on the legs of her father by him giving the baton over to the groom. And then you say something that's profound. If you take an old, a older coat that's been through the rain, it's been through mud, it's been through damage, it's been through hell, it's hard to groom Dre that old coat. It's hard to groom it. It takes a lot of work because it's fixed. But if you take a young coat, Dre, that, that coat has been mm -hmm. under the covering of his father. That young coat has been inside the home. That coat is more malleable and is more consistent with being groomed. Your job as a man was to groom your woman so that she can meet your mission as a man. She served you on the front end. You serve her on the back end. You serve her by dying for her. You serve her by loving her. You serve her by protecting her. You serve her by protecting her from the things that can damage her long term. But like you were saying, if you got an old coat, that's had rain, mud, hell, sleep, uh, uh, pigeon poop. It's hard to groom that old coat, Drake, because it's been do so much damage. So when you get a younger woman that's able to be groomed, that woman is able to come more readily into your program because in her mind, Drake, you are the master teacher. Mm -hmm. You're the master teacher. Sometimes older women have had many experiences multiple experiences with different men, they've traveled more, they've been in different places. But when you get a younger woman that's never really been anywhere, she hasn't um, been on um, uh, under different um, uh, under different auspices, she hasn't traveled abroad, she hasn't seen uh, and been in fancy restaurants, that woman's a lot more appreciative because she's more readily able to be groomed, Dre, because she has not dealt with the ravages of life and her mind is fresher and because she has that fresh energy, Drake, she brings that fresh energy to, energy to you. What I call Jene Senqua. Um, it's an allure that she has and it's consistent, Drake, with a concept called uh, a, a feminine oscillator. That feminine oscillation, Drake, is not only good for your psyche as a man, but what it does, Drake, it helps ground you. But see, a woman that can't be groomed, she can't ground you because you're constantly trying to groom her. Because you're in a, she's in a state of flux, so you're, you're so busy trying to get her to be in a state of, of being grounded. And so you need a woman that can help ground you on the front end, but you turn around and ground her, Dre, on the back end. That's why having a younger woman is not only good for your psyche, but it's also good for you having a woman on your team that you can teach lead and guide and many times Dre they'll say well um you want to mold her yes that's what a groomer does a groomer molds that woman into the mission of being part of that man's life that man is constantly grooming her and molding her no different Dre than when a baby comes outside of a woman that woman molds that baby's head she crowns that baby head so that, that baby head can be fit and that baby head can look normal but some of these women you can't you can't mold their heads Dre their, their heads coming out looking like eggs because they're too damn hard. And so you can mold an egghead, but you can mold a, a soft boiled egg. And uh, and that's why a lot of times men love those younger women, Dre, because they're more readily, ready to come into a man's life to add value, 
sustenance and also being cooperative and being part of that man's plan. But that's a special type of younger woman. She got to be a special type. We're not saying all younger women, but it's a special type of, of younger woman. The, the, the aforementioned Dre that you mentioned recently, you know, um, she can get open doors for you. Um, she's smart and nerdy, but also pretty. And, uh, and she don't have a lot of trauma and baggage from the past. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and the other, other side of that guy, you know, I always do the other side of the coin. Everything culture, it was it's letting you guys know that these women who are younger are ready, if they're a good woman, to be molded for the mission mm -hmm. of the relationship and the mm -hmm. direction that it's going. But here's the kicker. You got to have a mission for the family to go into. Right. Yes, sir. Right. If you still, if you come to Colombia, you come into Brazil, you zoom in your happy tail to Thailand, and you still on party mode, but you want a good, serious, younger woman, bruh, all you doing is going to mess up a good woman that should have been with somebody else. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that again. If you still on 100%, now you know me and Andre, we like to go out and have our fun. You guys that come to town, you know, I never disappear on you. I got, I, I said, come on, let's go. We about to go here. We about to go there. We like Sawa there. We everywhere. So, you know, I get out there. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, if you are still treating, my, my point is I could do that because I live here. But if you guys are still with the vacationers mindset or the travelers mindset, and you're coming to these South American countries or Central America or African countries, and you're finally, you finally found a good woman, but you have no mission. You're like, oh man, I, I was so busy looking for a good woman that I, I forgot I was supposed to have a mission for when I get one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You need to step back mm -hmm. because all you're going to do is, I promise you, and I've seen this plenty of times, right. you go going to run her, that good Medellin woman, that good Cartagena woman. All you're going to manage to do is run that good young woman into the arms of a, another older man right 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 has got a mission yes sir they're gonna treat her right yes I've sir seen it plenty of times yes sir right i've seen that that one culture down yes, sir. here i've right. seen so many dudes lose good women right oh, women right they lose yes sir and they be right fine, yes sir down yes sir earth, the sweetest thing and mm -hmm. they get with the next brother and the next thing you know the next brother got the ring and you blowing up her phone so so night so you done went ahead and married him huh so you don't remember none of the love we had. Right, you right. sit up there like Teddy Pendergrass the whole town's laughing, laughing at me. At me. <laughs> Silly food. Silly food. How you lose <laughs> such a good thing. Yeah, that's you true. You up there like right, Teddy Pendergrass right, because right. you didn't have a mission for the young woman to trust you to right. walk into so culture is absolutely correct this right. good younger woman she's mm -hmm. ready to submit to the mission of why you support her on the back end she got your back on the front end but if you have no direction and you just on party mode and fun boy mode even when you decide to move to these countries i'm telling you straight up you're gonna lose it right because the good woman is if she's good if she's good gorgeous beautiful young woman I've seen it plenty of times. She gonna leave you so fast, and I've seen women down, sisters, good sisters down here, literally. Mm -mm, Dre, I'm done. I'd be like, well, give give him give him one more try, give him one more chance. Uh -uh. mm -mm, I'm done. Good women in South America, you got one, maybe two chances, because they like you ain't gonna do me like you do scammer girls, party women, and pay for play. Don't think that you can get away with me what you got away with them. Mm -hmm. And that's a sign of being a good woman. I'm going to say this to some of you guys. It's going to hit you upside the head. One of the signs of being a good woman, she know when to leave your ass. Mm -hmm. Some of you dudes don't really, it ain't going to sink in until you get in the bed in the pillow tonight. Right. One of the signs that she was a good Colombian woman, she stopped fucking with you. And you 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 look like oh man she just ya, ya, ya. okay that's why the next man got her and they living happily ever after the end right you got to realize that you have a part in this when it comes to keeping her mentally healthy as she has a part in this keeping you mentally healthy mm -hmm. right right 
let's go. Let me go to the super chat real quick. Yes, sir. Go ahead, bro. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my man, Quiet Storm, mm-hmm. the Machismo TV brothers. I watched you guys the other night mm-hmm. uh, for tonight's therapy session. <laughs> He says support black male media. Absolutely correct. Shout Thank out to the quad stone. Man, that's a good brother right there. Good man. brother, man. Good Give brother. Him salty balls, man. Those dudes. Right. Those are good dudes. Good brothers, man. All right. He said, uh, and one brother said, Anthony said, he said, that's what my mother ran into. I think when we're talking about the stubbornness of in mm-hmm. uh, the in the lack of accountability when sometimes mm-hmm. with older, older women, right. it does happen. Mm-hmm. And let's scroll down a little further. Shout out to all you guys. First class is in the building. You say that's real shit. That's a bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout out to Kenny. People's being in the building as well. Law Dog says, he said, I finally stopped asking if girls saw my age as fine. Goodness. I'm glad that you did. Mm-hmm. Saw my age on dating apps. Mm-hmm. None of them cared. I'm going to say this again. I'm glad the Law Dog brought that up. When it comes to dating in other countries, I'm going to repeat this outside of the West, Canada, USA, Australia, uh, New Zealand, America, United States. For the most part, women ain't checking the clock. Mm -hmm. If you're a good dude that age, they ain't tripping in Spain, Portugal, parts of Africa. They, hey, Look, hey, shout out to my man Austin Holliman. Mm-hmm. If I was single, me and Austin competing for the same women. Right. I'm 56, he 24. Guess what? Women want a good man no matter what age you are. Mm-hmm. So, guys, he's absolutely correct. I'm so proud. That's why I pause. I'm so proud of the fact that you said, I stopped wasting my time asking these women on these dating apps. Well, you, you see my age because at the end of the day if you are a good catch women do not care mm-hmm. all you do is in your early 60s they don't care I know what me and Andre one of Andre's favorite YouTubers Spanish girl 40 years old two kids deep husband 70 years old Ooh, are you right, serious I'll tell you right now she oh. loves his stinky draws he ain't wow. she ain't going no well, wow, he said, I love my man. One of the things wow. man, Andre, wow. we were just on, in a car on our way back home, mm-hmm. and Andre was saying, She said, One of the reasons I love our relationship is because of the mental peace we give each other, right? Right, she said, She said, I could go to sleep and I don't have to shed one tear that my man did something. Mm-hmm. She said, you could be in the studio all night long and I ain't got a word that you out here texting a bunch of young women Mm -hmm. when I know you ain't here taking care of business. Mm -hmm. I don't have to come here and peek and see, well, what you doing? She said, you know how much peace that gives me not to worry about what my man is doing late at night? She said, so it gives me mental peace to give you mental peace. Mm -hmm. It keeps the stress off of our intimacy because I ain't got five women that I'm smashing in my mind at the same time I'm trying to bring satisfaction to my wife. Mm-hmm. I'm only satisfying this one woman because that's the only one that's in my mind. Mm-hmm. It's those little mental things, guys, that will give you so much peace and alleviate stress. And I'm gonna give you my story in regards to the erectile dysfunction. And <laughs> talk about it. Culture was absolutely <laughs> correct. A woman, no matter what stage of life that you're in, brother. Right. Oh, the wrong woman at the wrong time can cause your dick to say hell no. <laughs> oh, I didn't got in plenty of arguments with my dick. Right. Oh yeah, me, me as the person, him as the penis, we've got the arguments, and I'm like, I want to smash that, and my penis would tell me, bruh, I'm done with her. I'm tired of her mouth. I'm tired of her attitude. How she talk? She talking all greasy. She disrespectful. I don't see anytime your dick tell you, I don't see why you with her. Anytime your dick tell you, you need to cheat. Your dick looking at the suitcases in the closet. Why don't you grab one of them suitcases real quick, Drake? My body literally shut. I'll never forget that. Dude, I'm I'm dude, I was like 37. 
I ain't one of them call my mama type dudes. Man, I'm on the phone with my mama at 30. Mom, I need to talk to you. Some going around with my body. It ain't working like it used to. What's going on? True story. What's going on? First thing my mom said was, tell me about your relationship. What's going on with the lady that you, the young lady that you're dealing with? She was only a couple, the person I was dealing with was only like three years younger than me. Yeah, this going on. She said, your body, the stress, your mental and physical stress that you can't see is showing itself in your sex life and in your bloodstream and how your blood is flowing through your body. Right. And that's why you can't keep it up for her. Right. She said, Andre, once you done with her, watch what happens to your body. Mm -hmm. Man, listen, I felt so sad for the first female I got with, Po baby, Po baby. They, they, they might as well put murder tape around the house. They might as well put, put the tape uh, on the on the bed around her body as a as a homicide suspect man i broke that, that young woman's back in and i know why i'm telling this story i ain't the only dude that your body has said when it comes to a certain woman at a certain stage your body told you uh maybe uh, nah. sometimes it's, it's, it's working sometimes it ain't and you know it's because you're going through mental and personal stresses with this person. And then, this is the funny part. Then a lot of us men, we cheat. And then the female we cheat with, we come in with the force of 10,000 Thors. And you wonder like, oh, was it because I got some new coochie? No. Because your body is tired of the old coochie that you still got hanging around that you should have left. Year five, you should have left her in year three. And your body been telling you for two years. And your mind been telling you for two years. Get the empty suitcase in the closet and leave. But what did you do? You kept hanging around. You know how, how we are, culture. Two reasons men are for with women anyway. Y'all ready to take notes on this one, fellas? There's only two reasons we with women. First reason, because you want them. We want women in our lives, whether it be as, we want her as our friend, our, our, our colleague, our wing girl, our side chick, our main chick, our jump off, our pay for play, our whatever it is, our wives, whatever it is, we want them. We want that particular woman in our life for a particular reason. Number two reason going to bust your head, though. Number two reason why you got a woman in your life, because you be damned if keep down the street, get her. Some of you dudes stay in a relationship for four, five more years. Kosher, they stay in a relationship with women four or five more years, knowing they should have left a year, two and a half. Because you don't want somebody else to get that good sucking. You can't stand her. She can't stand you. But you be dang if keep down the street, get it. <laughs> you wish she would get a Terrell Owens. Right, right. You wish she would get her uh, Shannon Sharp digging deep up in her. Got her screaming with three orgasms. And she only had three in the whole time she was with you. <laughs> So what you do, fellas? Come on, let's be real. You hang on, cause we ornery. We mean we ornery. We know this ain't working out, so we are We gonna stick with it, cause we don't want the next. Not cause we just we don't hate the person. I ain't saying that, but we ain't fully in love with them anymore. And since we're not fully in love with them anymore, and we don't want to, we just imagine her booty chewed up. She ain't let you hit anal at all. All of a sudden, keep down the street, all up in her booty hole. At least in your imagination. And so we come on, Coach. And our, <laughs> man, we imagine our, our our little exes or main women or wives sexual exploits to the extreme. We be looking at our, they could be the most innocent thing. We be thinking like, yeah, my, if I divorce her, she gonna be the next uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. And we sit back and we imagine these things. The whole time your body is telling you, bruh you should have left two years ago right 
and your mind is telling you you should have been gone mm -hmm. what are you doing right why don't you let her go ahead and be happy i ain't do well you, listen bro i i told you two years ago i ain't gonna get hard no more your body telling i told you two years ago i ain't getting hard no more i get a little softy but you know you i ain't gonna give you that when you was 25 year old hard until you get rid of her your body is telling you this because your mind is telling you you need to stop playing games and leave that person alone so it is also when you get with the wrong women so if you come down into colombia and you try to make a party girl into a good girl you're gonna end up being like this mm -hmm. try to make a scammer girl into a good girl you're gonna end up like this right try to make a paper play into a good girl you go end up like this mm -hmm. you can only get a good younger woman that can help you and the first signs of it is that mental peace right when you're with her yes. that mental peace peace is symbolic right it's kind of funny andrea was saying she said that's the first thing i look from you when we were together she said when i first started dating you she said i want to see how much peace this man can bring me so i can start bringing him peace as well mm -hmm. i like that right mm -hmm. And she just said in the car while we were driving home, she said, mm -hmm. I, I, she said, I want to see how much peace you would bring me. She said, so I can also give you just as much peace as you're giving me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Dre, you know what? You said something I want to I want to add to what you're saying. There's an old spurious notion, Dre, that they'll say that they only want older men because they want somebody to take care of them. And they don't think that um, there's no romantic interest or no more romantic love. I want you to educate the audience, Drake. Is there is there a level of not only we do we do understand that all women want a man to take care of them, regardless of what country they're from. But I want you to dispel the myth that they don't love those men. Because some just assume they just want them for a green card and they want them to take care of them. But I think that's a fallacy. I think a lot of those younger women like older men for the knowledge and maturity and the wisdom that they bring, but they're really attracted to those men. What's your take on that? I would have to say this. I would have to say this. Let me let me hit up Ethan real quick. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Ethan to be in the building. All you guys, we want to hit your comments in, in a moment as well. Mm -hmm. Ethan says, for, shout out to Ethan being here in Colombia. He say a lot. Uh, he said he say, lost a 25 year old. She gave me one chance and I messed it up. Worked, uh, worked out five years a week. I mean, work out five days a week and was beautiful and feminine. Mm -hmm. And now the next man is enjoying it ethan and while the rest of us are singing the whole town's laughing <laughs> at me silly fool how'd you lose such, such a, a good, good thing, thing. Right. come on now in the words of teddy pendergrass mm -hmm. the whole town's laughing at you brother and we learn from our lessons shout out to you ethan for telling your story man mm -hmm. but yeah serious women in colombia i'm telling you dude you and Andrew told me this early. You got one chance. And my boy told me this about Scorpios. He said, "Bro, I'm telling you, you, with Scorpio women, they will spoil you and treat you like a king, Dre." Right? He said, "But you got one chance to." Uh, he said, right. "Mess up that one, ain't no, ain't no number two. Right. He said, "Bro, I'm literally telling you, Scorpios don't do no get backs. You mess it up, you can forget about that dance. Yeah, right, right. She might right. even pretend like you, like she's stealing to you, but it's been over." Mm -hmm. So, so as you were saying, culture, say that again. I'm not. I'm sorry. No, no, you're fine. I, I was just saying, Drake. There's a, there's a, there's an old spirits notion that um, they say what they just want you for money and resources. And given it's a giving, all women want men for money. But I want you to dispel the myth, Drake, that a younger woman don't love that older man for who he is. Some just assume, oh, they just want you because you're older and you got resources, and that's a myth. We know they want money, but. It depends on the the older man because it's not a doubt in my mind that your wife is crazy about you. You can see it in her body language. Now, can a man be older and dusty and they just want that man and don't love that man and is using him and he's a lit? Yes, but I'm talking about a true a true Columbia relationship where the man might be 10, 15, 20 years older and that woman is genuinely crazy about that man. That's what I'm talking about. I'm writing down a one a two words. Mm -hmm lose something mm -hmm. i'm gonna say this again guys what is it that you bring to the table that that woman feels like if you go she gonna lose something 
Mm -hmm. And I don't mean your your the stereotypical 90 day fiance green card BS. I'm gonna break the myth of the green card. If you take care of business like you're supposed to, your woman shouldn't have to need a green card. I'm gonna say this again. If I take Andrea to the United States right now, to take it from me, I was an ex-college recruiter because I know how to, and my department that I was head over was transferring international students into and, and their credits into our colleges. So I know how international credits transfer and when they don't. If Andrea took all her education and all her resume to the States, she might as well start from scratch. If Andrea got a green card in the United States without the proper education or certifications, my wife is cleaning toilets. Let's be real with the green card. My wife is somebody's waitress in a Latin speaking restaurant. Let's be real with this green card thing. Let's get this out of the way. All you dudes and ladies in the States that's crying about, they're just coming over for a green card. What type of jobs would they be eligible for if their education can't transfer? If their resume can't transfer? If the business that they own in their home country can't transfer? Now she doing nails in the States. Ain't no way I'm gonna have my wife doing nails in the States. Are you crazy in the name of a green card? So let's get this green card out the way right now. Most people that get a green card, the job that they get with that green card ain't worth shit until right. they actually go to school in the United States for either some form of certification right, or right. some form of degree right. and build up a US resume. So let's get this right. So next time y'all hear somebody crying about them damn green cards, think about what type of job the person you gonna bring over there gonna be able to get. Some of them might get a good job opportunity. Yes, they will. But we talking about a majority of them, they ain't working for Chrysler Ford or GM. And I forgot what Chrysler's new name is, but my point is they ain't walking in there working with the UAW and got a good $25 an hour job. Stop being afraid of those green cards. It's your job to make sure that if you bring somebody back to the States, she ain't going to need a green card. Right. If I was to move back to the States, my wife wouldn't need no damn green card. Last thing I worry about is my wife getting a damn green card. And mm -hmm. guess what? She knows her older husband, older husband, older husband well enough that I would not put her in a position for a damn green card. Green card, right. So, dude, I understand you wind it down, Coach. I know. No, 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 you're fine, man. Hey, hey, man, you're good. Uh, I got time, man. Go ahead. You're fine. So at, the, at, so, at the end of the day, do realize I just want to push that out of the way. Now that I've forgotten what Coach's point was <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the second time. But at the end of the day, guys, that myth of a woman only wants you for this benefit or that benefit, there's not a woman on the planet that doesn't want you for some form of benefit. Right, right, Let's right. Get that one out the way. Right. If you think that you're going to skirt around the fact that I got a good woman, she don't want me for nothing. If you ain't providing it, somebody else providing it. Mm -hmm. If it's, it, she don't need me for happiness. Somebody else providing her happiness. She don't need me for money. Somebody else providing her money mm -hmm. and provisions. Mm -hmm. She don't need me for protection. That's because she got another man doing her protection all for her. All women need three things for men. Provision, protection, and problem-solving skills. Mm -hmm. And if you can't provide, protect, and get problem-solving skills, don't worry about it. I used to be the sad dude all the time. There's, there's plenty of women that is looking for dudes like how I was that will provide, protect, and problem solve. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, don't fall in. And also this, to end off my statement, culture, guys, as culture was saying, don't fall for the myth of that because you're older, all younger women want to scam you. Right. 
because of your age. Right. If you are a man that's taking care of your health, a man that's taking care of your business, a man that knows how to tell a beautiful woman no, and then know when to tell a gorgeous woman hell no. Some of the problems with some old, some of you older dudes, can I say this for real? Your problem is not that you ain't a good dude. Mm -hmm. Your problem is not that you're not mentally stable. You haven't been successful in your career. That's not your problem. Your problem is that you don't know how to tell pretty pussy no. You have never told a gorgeous, attractive woman no in your life. And I don't mean no in the sexual part because I know you're going to be intimate with her. What I'm saying is when you know that this is not working out and this is not conducive to your mental or physical health, you still don't know how to walk away from a gorgeous woman. Mm -hmm. That's what's haunting a lot of you older dudes. You think that this might be my last chance with a sexy sexy. So now you coming out that money. Mm -hmm. This might be my last chance to get one like this. So now you don't care that she got side dudes. Yeah. This Not might me. be my last chance. So now you let her be mouthy. So now you let her be disrespectful. Now you let her dress any type of way. All these things is because you scared that if you lose this one sexy youngie youngie at the age of, of 57, 54, 64, 70, 39, 49, 42, you think that because you're going to lose this one, that life won't grant you another one. Mm -hmm. With that scarcity mindset. Mm -hmm. Stop doing that, fellas. Right. I don't care how old you are. If you got to tell a sexy woman no to keep your peace, get rid of... Uh, you done already smashed her. I say it again. You done already smashed her. Get rid of her ass in the, in the words from the, from the 80s with the quickness. Mm hmm All right, let's get ready to hit some of these some of these comments. Let me know when you're ready, Coach, because I know that you that you got some things to take care of in the morning. Yeah, you know, I'm, I got time. I got a, another good hour. Go ahead, brother. Okay, cool. Christopher says, shout out to Christopher. He said, women always say foreign women always want a green card or citizenship. And they don't even know the process to even qualify for one. If you're moving overseas, that's so true. Most people don't know. It is a waiting list, a three year waiting list for the green cards because the applications are so far in the rear. Culture, mm -hmm. just the just the continent or the country of India. Mm -hmm. People want to come to the United States. There are over 100,000 green card and visa applications in the rear mm -hmm. on the waiting list just for India alone. Mm -hmm. Hey, culture, I just read the article. They said the people of India, many of them will die before they get their visas and their green card. Mm. They said the waiting list for India just to get a green card and a visa to come to the States is like a 75 year wait because the the way that, we're talking about one country right so when i sit back and i tell you guys it's a three-year waiting it's a waiting list for a visa just to visit the united states if you're not an essential worker like working in the fields and and you know cutting up american meat and you're not picking you know picking stuff you know picking the fruit if you're not an essential worker worker coming into america you're put on the back burner. That's why me and Andre have been waiting. You guys have been like, how come you and Andre aren't in the States yet? Because our interview is not until May 2024. We mm. filled out the form two years ago. So we're trying to tell y'all, it's not what we heard, it's what we know. Right, right, right. And we follow the list and the dates every day. The next date that's available, culture, for if you want to bring somebody to the United States that you, you got married, you want to bring her to the States, and she's not an essential worker. She's just your wife or your girlfriend. The waiting list now is May 2026. Mm. If you filled out the application today. Right. 
So when dudes sit back and talk that 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 green card, or when they talk about that uh, uh, the the visa, and it's easy to get your girlfriend in, bruh, I did that. I filled out the, the, the same appli visa application when Andrea was my girlfriend and I was in the States, the same little routine. We hired an attorney, the whole thing. And guess what? They sat back and said, oh, uh, no, she's just a girlfriend. <laughs> so it's not stuff that I be, that, I mean, Andrea and I will say this a hundred times over and everybody's got, well, my girlfriend says she got a hookup. All right. Remember, she might got a hookup for Colombia, but it takes two countries to pass to, to uh, uh, approve a visa or a green card. I'm going to say this again. It takes two countries to approve a visa and a green card. Her home country has to prove that, yes, she can work there. And then the country in which she's moving to, the United States, has to prove that, yes, she can work here. With the visa, yes, she can come there from her home country but the united states has to say yes she can come in mm -hmm. so if both countries don't say okay because america could say come on in girl you go with us come on in bring, go and bring your girlfriend in colombia and brazil could say oh hell no oh no 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 she can't come she ain't got no education no degree no kids here no job here no responsibilities here that's why i tell you guys if you're looking for a good woman get a woman that got something here because that's the easiest way to get a visa approved is she, does she got something does she have doors to open does she have right. a career does she have an education does she have a nine to five because they're going to ask what is it that's going to bring you back to this country known as brazil and if she ain't got nothing no job no kids no responsibilities no nothing she just got a fat butt Bra brazil united states might say yes she could get a visa brazil gonna say hell no why because brazil says there is nothing to bring her back home right united states wants to make sure you get out the home country wants to make you make sure they come back home right and so when we give this information guys i'm telling you do not take it lightly don't when the cameras go off on these live streams don't treat it like andre don't know what he talk about go and spend your money hiring an attorney just because she sucked you real good last night. Now you hire an attorney as if everything I just told you was a lie. And I just told you verbatim how it works. What's my point? Being an older man, I could see things that will benefit my younger woman. You guys being older men could see things that your younger woman may not necessarily see at that moment. And the example I just used is the green cards and the visas. You know how to be calm about it. Well, baby, it's going to take a couple of years. She's young, but but I heard. Well, well, if we hire an attorney, but no, no, baby, I, I know people. It's going to take a couple of years. You know how to calm down the younger woman and give her peace, because you got peace. You understand that this is how life works. Mm -hmm. You can't get everything immediate. Mm -hmm. Let's go to some more of these comments. Let me make sure I got all the super chats because I miss yours culture with the 777 9311. All right, shout out to culture. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. He said the right young woman is mold molded for the mission. The right young woman is molded for the mission. Notice culture didn't say the right young woman is molded for the man. You as the man is supposed to have the mission for this woman to mold herself into. Mm -hmm. What direction are we going to take this relationship, right. this right. friendship? What do you what do you plan on doing with me in your life? Mm -hmm. That's what this younger woman want to know. I'm a good young woman. I'm about my business. I was raised by both my parents. I'm responsible. I ain't got no kids. I'm 27, 28, 29. I take care of my body. I got my master's degree. I speak three languages. All the things that you would want in a woman. I would I'd give you the girlfriend experience, everything. Mm -hmm. But for you, what mission do you want me to mold to? Because if you want her to mold to you as a, just you as a man, the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. 
but you have to have something that you or, or direction in which you're headed with your life that you can say you know what i think that she'd be a good add-on to the direction that i'm taking this thing called life what do you think culture yeah 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 uh yeah definitely a good add-on man that's why i said uh, i highlighted by saying once again the right woman is moldable or molded for the mission she's molded for the mission because once again she got the grooming process from her father and you're going to carry on the molding and the grooming um you know um what i've noticed dre is that a lot of men allow their women to mold them for their mission or being an accessory instead of molding his woman for the mission of more or less his legacy long term and and you know i like what the young man said earlier about so many men settling for mediocrity here in america i mean you're in cali columbia you see beautiful women all the time. And it's so sad, man, because so many young men, are, well, not only young men, men of all ages are missing out of having that pure feminine woman in their life. And But but you can more or less attest straight that once you get that woman, it's a life-changing experience, man. I mean, God bless you with a good wife, man. It's a life-changing experience. Your blood pressure go down. Your heart rate um, slows down. And I'm going to share something with you. Your, your mother was right, Dre. Stress will cause cortisol to constrict your blood vessels, which in essence doesn't cause the blood to flow correctly to your nether regions. If that blood is not flowing through the stress, you're not going to get an erection. And so when you've got a woman that's constantly stressing you out, that stress is causing your blood vessels to constrict. And that's through the cortisol. That's free radicals in your body. And that's reducing your ability to have a normal erection. Sunshine, Sunshine Shoulders talked about it once again. He thought he had erectile dysfunction. Went to the Philippines, got him a young cooperative woman. He's 60, she's 40. And, um, you know, the rest is history. They got a beautiful young baby. And the rest is history, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like hearing stuff like that. Somebody else is having a great story. Shout out to my man, Kings of Dreams, my brother, my dude. He said, Dre, my big brother and mentor. Culture, my brother. We have to work uh, soon, brother. Yes, we do. Great live stream. Thank you very much for the five dollar make sure you guys subscribe to kings and dreams man the brother did a great live stream on uh, uh relocating and visiting uh spain yesterday and i'm going to be watching that video again because it was i'm talking about pull out your pen and take notes live stream and so if you guys want to know anything about the good women and sexy women and how to maneuver around spain bruh and i'm talking about step by step I'm talking about pulling out your pen and like, okay, he said, okay, where did he say? Brother, that live stream that Kings and Dreams did last night, if you want to know anything really about going over to Europe, but he specifically talked about Spaniard women. And this is a Dominican dude who's in a relationship with a Russian woman. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's one for you. And he spends his time in Europe and he gave a synopsis a, a, a brief he broke spain down man in a way especially madrid and barcelona barcelona and, and gave his uh uh show his videos his channel so make sure you guys after this live stream if you get a chance or if you're working third shift or second shift go watch kings and dreams live stream from last night but do not do it without a pen in your hand because you're going to be mad at yourself because you end up having to watch it twice like i am shout out to black by design being in the building as well Shout out to you. He said, just getting a visa from Colombia is two and a half years. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I kid you not. Yes, it is. This is a great show, man. I'm really appreciating having culture on here, man. Yes, sir. Let's go to the next, next topic or next PowerPoint real quick. Mm -hmm. Shout out once again to my man, Brett Farney. Hope I pronounced your last name right, Brent. For the $5 cash app, all cash apps will be going to the Children's Cancer Foundation at the beginning of the year. So the last four months of all cash apps is just being stacked. And so on January 2nd, we're going to take all that money and donate it to the Children's Cancer Foundation like we did last year. Andre and I have already put up the first $500, and so far we're a little over $1,000. So I appreciate that you guys have uh, have provided and uh, uh, donated to this project, which we do every year. Shout out to you guys. 
Yeah, Barcelona is. I, I've I've heard some great things about it. Yeah, the dude the dude had me rolling. I I didn't even know that they had like unisex bathrooms in Spain. Uh, topless this, topless that. I didn't know. He, he said, "Man, Spain. There is nothing conservative about Spain. Spain is is about that is about that party life with gorgeous women." And so, uh, but back to our topic. Back to our topic. Let's get let's go on to numero tres. Mm-hmm. The, the health the topic tonight, once again, guys, the health benefits and the mental benefits of being with the right, the correct younger women. You may enjoy better sex. It is just better sex is biologically a fact that your partner tends to have more sexual energy and stamina in bed. We already discussed that one. So we can kind of like go past that one. I'm just going to emphasize on something else that I found out is that men that date or marry good younger women live longer right, than right, men live longer. Right. that are married to women that's right around your same age. Mm-hmm. I'll say that again. Us dudes that are married to younger women, we live longer. But check it out, culture. I found out the opposite too. Mm-hmm. Women that are married to younger men pass on faster than women that are married to men around their same age. So when a woman is married to a man that's like a few years older, she lives longer than a woman that's married to a younger man that's five or 10 years younger than what she is. Mm -hmm. They say it's actually more stressful for a woman to be dating or in a relationship with a younger man than it is for an older man to be with a younger woman and mm-hmm. we tend to live longer mm-hmm. yeah go ahead no 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 and i and i think that's for 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 a myriad of reasons once again that younger woman grounds that man you know dre there were studies that were done in the past and it's really contraindicated, but the study said that men that are married live longer. But that was a misnomer. Men that are married live longer if they're with a woman that's not stressing them out. A man is not gonna live longer just by default because he's married to a woman. True. If only if that woman is not stressing him out, she's loving him, respecting him, and honoring him. Women and men, Dre, are symmetrical to one another. They're almost like um, the yin to the yang. She pushes him forward, he pushes her forward. It's like a dance. You remember the movie Beauty and the Beast when the mm-hmm. beast was dancing with the woman? That woman knew how to ground that beast, but that beast also knew how to make that woman feel safe. So it's an ongoing dynamic. It's a, it's a beautiful dance. And when it's in balance and calibration and synchronicity, it's very powerful, man. So so it's a misnomer that a woman can um, let make a man live longer and just off the strength of him, him being married. That needs to um, that concept needs to be qualified because just because you're married, it don't mean you're gonna live longer. But if you got a good woman, she's a righteous woman, she's loving, she's kind, she's feminine, she 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 respects you, and she knows how to control her emotions for the greater good of that relationship, and that man knows how to control his ego. Man, that man can live probably damn up to a hundred years old or more. That's why Dre in the past, when men and women fell in love and they were so bonded to one another. Right after that man would die, that woman would die too, or vice versa. Yeah, yeah. That's Am I true. right or wrong? Am I right or That's wrong? So true. Mm-hmm. So true. A lot of us have family members where granddad passed on and grandma didn't last no more than maybe five, ten more years, if, mm-hmm. if three. Uh, right. I was watching a, a, a YouTube, no, it was a TikTok. A guy was interviewing an older dude. And he was like 93 years old. Guy was 93 years old. Mm-hmm. And he said, he asked the he asked the older dude. He said, uh, "What do you live for?" He said, "I don't live for anything." He said, I'm, "I'm just buying my time." He said, "My wife died a few years back." He said, "I know my time is coming soon." Wow. He said, "I was I was married to my wife for 47 years." Mm-hmm. He said, "And when her time was up, he said my time was up." He said, "And I'm just here existing, giving advice." sharing my wisdom and waiting for my time to go wow that's how connected 
and how good this woman would have been to him right. that he literally said, he said, when she passed on, I passed on and I'm just basically here existing. Wow, man. That's sad, man. It, it, it is, but it, it, it's, it's, a, it's such an oxymoron because it's like this sad story, but then it's like, man, to love somebody, to, to have somebody love you like that for 47 years, right. to treat you like such a man for 47 years, to whereas you you know a piece of you is is gone forever mm -hmm. when that person passes on right and 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 i and when you're in a relationship like that to death do us part doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to part it means that you're still going to be loving and missing and caring and being and being uh, uh you know thinking about that person for the rest of your days Shout out to my man Tevin King in the building with the ten dollar super sticker for the love, of the game. I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it. Now back to Cortez. He says, Andre, there is a lie saying that women get hornier as they get older. It is actually younger women prove that to be a lie. Now I, I wouldn't. You know what? I, I know that that story is, or that statement has been out there for years about women hit a certain stage of life and they just get horny and they you know in their 30s late 30s and they early 40s they get freaky and everything uh, to a certain extent I've, I've, I've experienced that but i would rather just be with a younger woman and i know that her body is ready for whatever i'm ready for mm -hmm. including childbearing i have no kids i would be a dang fool to be with a woman that's if you know i'm 56 if I'm with a woman that's 46, my chances of having a, a seed, it, it ain't looking too good. I'm right. looking seedless like a like an American watermelon. You see what I'm saying? You know, so I had to say American watermelon. Right, right, <laughs> right, 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 I'm looking, right. you know, I'm looking right. seedless. Right, right. And so so at the end of the day, one of the the piece that gives me culture of being with Andrea is that I have the peace of knowing that this woman based off of age and being healthy biologically i have a stronger chance of having a child with her compared to with somebody that's closer to my age mm -hmm. and a lot of guys think like me like listen i do want to have a child in my life but the stresses that an older woman could give me not necessarily stress let me not go there but the fact that the, a woman around my age is too old to have a have a child that that you know that that's taken into the equation mm -hmm. let's go on to the next one we'll make this one our last one culture okay get, let you get some rest okay he said you may get and also when it comes to healthy and the health and mental benefits of dating younger woman you may gain a no here, here we go let me scroll down to five it says you may enjoy the power play. In other words, having been out in the world gives an older man or gives a younger woman a cheat code to life that many younger partners or lovers uh, seek out. You give, and I'm looking at number five culture, you give <laughs> as an older man, you give a younger woman the cheat code to life. And they seek that out. They desire that. Well, well, listen. Uh, I, 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 it's funny you say that. Trey. We can go up to number seven, then we'll end it at that. You know, you got, you got. I got time. Okay. Uh, we can go on up to seven. But it, it's funny you said that, Dre. So I always add qualifiers to older men, younger women. The man needs to be in good shape. He needs to be an experienced lover. He needs to know his body. He needs to study a woman's body. And uh, <laughs> you're gonna laugh at this one, Dre. But they say that that older man got a seasoned stroke. I heard a girl say an older man got that seasoned stroke. Only if, you know, he's in good shape, his cholesterol, blood pressure's on point, um, he doesn't have a lot of health issues. We're talking about an older man that's optimal. And Dre, they've also done studies where some of the women said that older men, younger women prefer older men because they're better lovers. So you got a better lover, you got a teacher, and you got a younger woman. And a woman that can bear that man's image versus an older woman. It's the perfect and the winning combination. But um, but sadly here in America, Dre, so many try to shame men out of more or less having what they want in a woman. But it's okay for a woman to, 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 to date a younger man. But if a man says I want a younger woman, I don't have a problem with a man dating a younger woman if he can take care of her and he's in good shape. 
So it's, it's qualifiers to that. Not just any older man, but it needs to be an older man that's, that, that knows himself. He's, he's dealt with all his unresolved issues from the past. He's in good shape or striving to be in good shape. He knows his body. He gets his rest. And he knows how to please this woman because he knows how to study her body. That's absolutely correct, man. It's, it's amazing that you would say that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, 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 I'm more of a nocturnal person, right? Right. But because I know the value of getting proper sleep now, and it benefits my wife, and it benefits us intimately. Yes, sir. I purposely make sure I get the proper sleep that when I was with older women, I took for granted. Mm -hmm. When I was by myself, I took for granted. But now that I'm with somebody and I take my body serious on her behalf and my behalf, I'm like, Andre, you got this, this being nocturnal, eh, this ain't gonna work, bro. You're gonna have to start getting you some real sleep, go on to bed, turn your cell phone off, get you some rest, brother. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it not only benefits me in ways that in the last 30 years, I never knew about how proper sleep can truly help my body or appreciate it. Let's put it like this, I didn't appreciate it. Now, somebody else is benefiting me from me, at least just getting the proper sleep. What is culture sh saying? Mm -hmm. He's saying that being with a younger woman, I'm, I'm just paraphrasing, I'm gonna tell, tell y'all the truth. Mm -hmm. He's saying being with a younger woman ain't for all of us. Mm -hmm. All of us don't wanna put in the work to be with a younger woman. We right. want one. Oh, they young and sexy, beautiful, they educated, they look mm -hmm. so cute with their glasses on. Mm -hmm. oh, we want one. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all ain't got the shape for it. You ain't trying to do nothing about it. If she say, baby, let's go to a gym, she'll say it in Spanish. You ain't trying to go to no gym. Why? You trying to smoke every blunt that you can find. She right, can't right. stand your purple Obama lips. Does she tolerate you, hoping that you're going to get off the weed? Come on, let me be real. Some of you dudes sitting lips. up there, you, you, everything got to do with an alcoholic drink. Everything. Right. You ain't learning nothing new. You ain't learning no Spanish, no salsa, salsa. You ain't learning nothing about the continent of Africa, her culture, everything that you want her to be for you. She is putting in work to be even before she met you. You need a feminine woman. She started working on femininity before she met you. You need somebody youthful, full of vitality, energy, and humor. She's got a great sense of humor, vitality, and energy before she met you all the things that you want a woman she doing but what is your happiness doing for for the young women that you want i'm gonna say this again culture being nice about it i'm being straightforward everybody ain't built for this because some of y'all too lazy to handle relationships with younger women go and get you one like before two three years younger than you that know you and can tell you about you because she's within the same generation as you you need that some of y'all do need somebody that's only three years younger than you four years younger than you because if you get somebody that's younger it means work I'm gonna say this again. It means mental responsibility. That means that you're the older one. Ain't nobody near your age to lean on. Well, what do you think about it? No, you're the you're the one with all the, the sh from the top of the Shaolin Temple. You're the five deadly venom. Come on, you you the one. You can't look at the young lady and ask expect her to have the the, the wisdom that you have because she hasn't experienced life on that level yet. So right. now it's all in your lap. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you the one that gotta set these doctor's appointments and make sure that you show up to make sure that your innards <laughs> are working just as good as you in the gym with the outside body looking good. Mm -hmm. All of these things that we're take that we're talking about, I kid you not. Everybody, I won't be at one like Andre. You ain't built for this, bro. I won't be. I, I won't be one. I won't be one like so. You ain't built like you ain't. Some of you dudes, listen. You can go to Tanzania, and you can hang out with Austin, but you can't compete. What? Because Austin twenty four? No, because you ain't built for younger women. Mm -hmm. You ain't you ain't ready for the mental things that it takes to keep a younger woman stable. And at the same time, here we go, culture. Ain't nobody talk about this and not be jealous of the fact that she's still younger. Mm -hmm. 
some younger du- some older dudes, you want to rule with an iron hand. I would, you ain't going nowhere without me. What is that you putting on? How dare you wear that sexy outfit to the grocery store? Who you going to? Some of you dudes are so dang insecure because you're older and you got a younger woman. Bruh, get you somebody that's 45 and be happy. Ladies, 35 on down alone. You ain't built for this, bruh. You ain't built for this. You too insecure. You too scared that somebody gonna take your woman because you ain't in the gym. You ain't taking care of career. And you, like Coach was saying, you don't have a mission for her to mold into. Right. And since you ain't got no mission, you ain't taking care of your body. You mentally scarred from the relationships that you went through in the past with your ex-wife and your kids ain't talking to you no more. So now you want to take it out on the younger woman who ain't did nothing to you, but come to you with fit, feminine, friendly, and supportive. And you going to mess it up because you ain't built for this, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I kid you not. For the, I'm not attacking. I'm not cracking no jokes. What I'm saying is if you are a man and you want to be with a younger woman, then do it, bro. And I mean it. Do it. It's possible. It's, I, I see a lot of them around here that are some good women. I know a lot of good younger women in the States and other countries. But don't be a dude that think you're going to get with a, a, a younger woman and you're going to take all your insecurities out on her. Because all you're going to do is F it up and she going to end up with another older dude that's going to treat her well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So go ahead. Some of you fellas that's in the live stream, let that the, the dream deferred. When it comes to younger women, dream deferred. <laughs> you do not need to be with a younger woman. Get you somebody 45, 37, 42, 58. For all you 60-year-olds, go and get somebody 58. Stop playing with yourself because you're too insecure for 28s. When I, one of the things, my, my wife is such an old soul, such an old soul culture. I had it, it took it took me two years to convince Andrea you are 26 act like it Andrea is such a mother hen such a, a mature woman such about her business she, she forgot that she was forgetting to have fun in her 20s right. and I refuse to let anybody be with me in a decade of their life they didn't enjoy you won't, that, that won't come a hey, culture that ain't gonna come back on me when she 36 37 I, I was like i missed all my 20s fun because i was trying to be super serious with you oh you ain't gonna say that to me <laughs> i want you to you want to go out and hang out with your, with, your, with your girlfriends and salsa dancing i know that you mature so i know that before you met me you respected yourself when you went out dancing so I already know how you go out dancing. I know all your girlfriends. They all professional ladies. They're all very famous throughout Colombia. Mm-hmm. So I already know who your girlfriends are. Y'all ladies go out and have some fun. You need to go ahead and have some fun. I refuse to take my wife out of the era that she's in just because I'm in the era I'm in. I see your point, right? I see. You see what I'm saying? Right. Actually, it's helpful for me. You enjoy your twenties, and I can take care of business real quick. I could take care of business because at the end of the day, if, but some of you dudes, you old and you be dang if your 27 year old girl act like she 27 years old. And I'm not talking about no raggedy American 27 year old. I'm right. talking about a mature African 27 year old, right, right, a right, mature right, right, right. Ukrainian or mature Russian or Scandinavian or, or, or a Swiss 27 year old. A mature Brazilian 27 year old. I'm not talking about the party girls. I'm not talking about the paper play. I'm not talking about the scammers. I'm talking about women that just don't happen to be young, but everything that they do is 10 years ahead. Mm-hmm. Their their life is set up that they're 10 years ahead in their behavior pattern. Andrea acts like she's 37. She ain't number 29. I had to tell her, girl, you you know that you're in your 20s. If you don't say, girl, dress. Like you in your 20s. Enjoy life like you in your 20s. Now, my wife ain't out there the raging alcoholic. My wife ain't out there getting blunted. My wife ain't out there doing X. 
she's very mature and there's a lot of mature women in these countries but some of you dudes are too insecure for a younger woman why is that back to what culture was saying you got to get your body right that'll build your confidence get proper sleep proper water that'll help build your confidence your meditation and prayer time the spiritual person right, right. within you that's going to build your confidence your ability to look you look compatible with her i'm gonna say this again you look compatible with her now that you got your weight down now you got your looking right you, the energy that you're giving off into the universe is positive energy she's positive energy you're positive energy the universe sees that so when people look at you at a glance you're supposed to be together right. it doesn't look odd when you guys are walking it looks like you're supposed to be walking together but some of you dudes you ain't built for this this live stream is for entertainment purposes only for you. Thank you for the super chats and the cash apps. But some of you dudes are not built for younger women, older men relationships. And I mean that for the bottom of my heart. Can you get there? Yes. Can you get to the point where you're not insecure anymore? Yes. Where you're healthier? Yes. Where you make wise decisions because you're the wise one of the relationship? Yes. When you benefit her as she benefits you? Yes when you no longer have to rule with an iron hand girl i wish you would go out in that outfit andrea still asked me she said babe is this too is this too sexy is this too maybe i should put a jacket i'm gonna put a jacket on with it she's which go ahead coach which i will say this you know the thing i love about you your nature and your temperance you believe in fairness and justice and so that's what i love about you you're very calm and you have a very calm spirit about you but I'm just telling you, me as a Leo man, I would never try to arrest my woman's development if she's going out. But if you represent me, you, you're not going to be going out being provocative. Absolutely. And, and, and I'm not insecure Absolutely. either. You represent me. Because a lot of people say, oh, he's insecure. Not, not insecure at all. I just don't feel safe that my woman is going out being dressed inappropriate and attracting negative attention. But, but I love something that you said, though, Dre. You understand your wife's culture. You understand she's at a different stage in her life. She's a very mature woman. Y'all complement one another. And if that's what works for you and your beautiful wife, more power to you. That's your value system, and I respect it. But the Leo and me being territorial, I, I'm not against my woman going out and, like you were saying, you know, maybe mm -hmm. dancing with her friends, doing songs. I don't have a problem with that as long as she respects me and no limitations. But mm -hmm. you got to dress for the occasion, Absolutely. and you got to dress like you're my woman. And the thing I love about what you said about your wife, your wife will come to you and say, baby, is this too much? I respect that in your wife because a lot, they don't do it. They just assume, well, you ain't going to tell me what to no. do, and you're just insecure. I, man, I would have to say, culture, in all sincerity, mm -hmm. just just leaving out the door andrea will come to me at least four times a week mm -hmm. easily she just even before we like right before we went to go take care of business andrea said this is my birthday dress what do you think mm -hmm. is it too mm -hmm. much is it is it or is it because we're going to be hanging out partying and having a good time i know the colombian culture mm -hmm. and then at the same right. time you know the culture, i'm just right. like mm -hmm. you you ain't gonna dress in any old thing and just disrespect me right. in public Mm -hmm. This is Andre and Andre across the borders. People do know us and see us. So, mm -hmm. hey, act like dress like you got some dang sense. Some sense, right. So, so she she'll come to me. I can, it's the craziest thing, dude. I, out of all the women in my life, I've never had a woman come to me. It, no offense to you, stay sad sisters. None of no woman has ever asked me, babe, what do you think about this outfit? Mm -hmm. Even if only to get a compliment. I've never had a woman ask me, babe, what do you think about this? How does this look? Not one. Mm -hmm. They just automatically assume that they're supposed to be looking good because they look good. Mm -hmm. And so I at least love the fact that, that so there we go, that young but yet old soul, old soul right. comes to me and says, babe, can I rock this? Or should I put a jacket on? You know, because she always keeps her blue jean jackets with her. Mm -hmm. Should I put a jacket on over this? Or should I change this top? Or And I'll let her know, like, that's okay. Or, nah, you might want to change it. Hey, hey, we don't do something about that. Change that. Mm -hmm. So we, we work together. But I never try to have her look like Mother Hen. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because she's Some with me. Hen. And I want her to look as unattractive as possible. Right. 
So I want her to look like a mother hen. No, I want you to put that polka dot, polka dot dress on. You had a long one. No, no, man. Come on now. You know, go go put your jeans on. Put your nice, put your nice uh evening evening uh uh heels on it and, and look attractive, but yet look like you're somebody's wife. Right, 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 right. Look Dr- at all times. Right. At all and, and, and it make you know what culture crazy part is? Mm-hmm. It makes me step my my Game dress. Right. Right, <laughs> Dude, I kid you not. Andrea come out with a nice dress on. We just going to an appointment. Andrea come out with a nice dress on. I walk out with a t shirt in my hand. I'll be like, "Oh, t shirt, jeans." That, no, let me <laughs> let me go ahead and get a button down. Right, right, right. And and ch- and change it to something that's more, you know, conducive to what she has on because she's right. looking, you know, very uh, uh, feminine, lady like. Right. Who am I to come out with a t-shirt on looking the exact opposite mm-hmm. of what my wife has on? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. It's, it's made me step my game up in regards to how I dress when we go out together and things like that. And then when I meet some of you guys, some of you guys be like, man, Dre, you, okay, you, you dress kind of overdressing sometimes. It's because I'm in such a habit when I'm around Andrea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What are some of the limitations, Dre? Um, and to dating younger women. We talked about the allure of a younger woman and the mental health benefits of dating a younger woman. And you're talking about a very special young woman and your wife. But what, what are some limitations that you think um, in dating younger women? Because you got to talk about the positive and the negatives. I, I like what uh, what what uh, my man Chad just put. It's, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, he basically answered the question. Okay. First thing is is respect. Andre and I talk all the time. The first thing that we don't look for in, in our relationship, we didn't look for look for uh, love. We first we look for respect and respect. peace. Respect, yes, sir. Right, right. You know, right. The first thing, if it, it, that that right there, that has no. There is no question about in in our marriage, you gonna respect me, and Andre the same way. There is no because you're older, you are gonna out talk me because you're older or you're the man or because you got more experience in life that doesn't give you the right andre to disrespect me right and the same thing with her dress her mindset her behavior anybody that's met andrea they know andre is extremely ladylike unless unless we're like out and about and all of us like some of you guys might catch us her her girls and all of us fellas and we're having fun and we're partying other than that andre is like ultra ladylike right right and so that is a form of respecting me as a as a husband as her husband and as her man now then the love falls in so that's that's a requirement number two is as he said representation Mm -hmm. you represent me i represent you 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 can't do things and not think about the repercussions or how it's going to bounce back on this family right right one of the one of the reasons why I'm not out here dealing with a bunch of other women, and I tell Andre that all the time, Cali is not as big as people think it is. That's true. It's a big city, but I don't know everybody, and I may end up I'm knowing Andre. And as, as and as wild as I would be if I was out there cheating, man, I done ran. I probably done ran into or ran through one of Andre's friends' cousins. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now I'd have messed up the representation of this family dynamic that I have at home. And then you know how women do, they gonna hold it for a couple of weeks. They ain't gonna tell you right out the gate. My girl told me that uh, yeah, you you uh that you've been smashing one of her cousins. They gonna hold it for a couple of weeks mm-hmm. until they gonna decide on how they're gonna present it. So I have to think about how I represent Andrea in public because she often thinks about how I, how she represents me in public and if i can't be with somebody that cares about our representation it ain't gonna work right it ain't gonna work culture number mm-hmm. three is that's a given the boundaries mm-hmm. so like, like i always say culture the difference between some relationships are just like the difference between a river and a flood a river has boundaries Brothers, right. on both sides. Right. You gotta have something that you can say. Remember what I just said earlier, culture? Some mm-hmm. dudes don't know how to say no to a beautiful woman. Right, right. 
some dudes have never looked into a, the eyes of a woman with dimples and said, no, you, no, no, baby, you can't do that. They never looked into the eyes of a woman with freckles and long jet black hair or giant Afro-Colombian curls or uh, some of them beautiful Brazilian women with thick thighs and the breast just perky just right. And have never looked in the Brazilian woman's eyes and said, no, nah, that ain't gonna work for us. Mm -hmm. Right. So, here, but, but here's what we're gonna do, babe. Right. They've never done that before. Mm -hmm. They have no boundaries. Mm -hmm. The more attractive the woman, the less boundaries a lot of these older right. dudes have. Yes, sir. So, right. And that's right. why I said I agree. being with the being with the younger woman ain't for everybody. Because mm -hmm. some dudes get with a young Brazilian chick that's down to earth, and she would run all over him. Mm -hmm. And he'll think it's because I'm older. No, dude. Women been running all over your running all over you your whole life. Let's right. do a backtrack of the encyclopedia of your life, and I bet you can just go, mm -hmm, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Women been running over you your whole life, bro. Your, your whole it ain't yeah, yeah. It ain't just the Brazilian girl that did it. Yeah, back in mm -hmm, back in eighty three, you got ran over. Ninety six, yeah, your ex wife. Oh, both your ex wives. Ninety six and ninety nine. Both of them ran over you. Okay, so this is what you do. It ain't the Brazilian woman that's doing it that ran over you because you older. You always got ran over, and nobody wants to talk about that when it comes to certain dudes. They want to make it seem like it was a Colombian woman that used them, mm -hmm. or American women ain't right. They no, bro. You been getting used by American women. In Brazilian women just to picked up the pace. You got used by women in Chicago, San Francisco, Texas, all up and down Florida, in the Carolinas. Then you want to come to Colombia, get used by Colombian women because you blamed everything on American women. And you got used by a scammer over here in Colombia. And now you want to blame all Colombian women because you got scammed. No, brother. Let, mm -hmm. Let's 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 look in the book of your life. Mm -hmm. You always got ran over. You ain't never been able to pick a good woman. You ain't never told a, a beautiful woman, oh, hell no, we ain't doing that. Boundaries. Those are my deal breakers. You can't respect me. You can't represent me. You don't You don't allow boundaries in this relationship. Oh, uh, you got to go. Mm. You, I done already smashed you anyway. You got to go. This ain't going to work. <laughs> You, you got yeah yeah so you're, you're, sexy, you're, you're you, a you, you, you ain't the listen you ain't the first good sex i had you won't be the last good sex right, i had right, you got right. to go but i need somebody that can do at least those three shout out to you chad for bringing that up because he's absolutely correct those three are my personal deal breakers for a younger woman i agree i agree i, I agree so so you don't have any issues and you broke it down about how men should move. Those are the issues that can happen if they're dealing with younger women. But your logic is having boundaries, having representation and respectability and understanding of what your value system is. Because you're correct. Because a man that's not used to beautiful women, they can get mesmerized by a beautiful woman. And that's why, Dre, I don't think a man should, even if they go through a divorce, should just hop right into a relationship afterwards. Mm -hmm. They need to be... They need to be normalized and socialized to being around beautiful women to the point when they're around a beautiful woman and it's be second nature. They're not mesmerized by it. Because once you get used to beautiful women, you're not mesmerized by them. You've been around them your whole life. So yeah. they don't really phase you. And you see beautiful women all the time in Colombia. Everywhere I go, all mm -hmm. day long, gorgeous women, big behind, small waist. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous women. Dude, we were just sitting up there at Subways trying to grab something to eat real quick before the live stream. Mm -hmm. Nothing but the most gorgeous, small waists, big behind, thick thigh sisters just walking back and forth, just minding their business, just doing it. Just, I mean, when you when you turn them to the side, ain't nothing but this sideways, <laughs> ain't nothing but that, and big right. Barry Sanders thighs. Right, right, right. And, and you and you're like, it's, it's part of the culture. It's part you you can't turn your head enough. So why it's, it's almost like you get to the point where you like you notice, but you don't waste your time gawking. Fire! Fire. 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 Fire.